This is Twit. The future of space flight could be thanks to poop. <laughs> Specifically, micro poop. Now, one of the things that makes manned space flight so expensive and complicated is the fact that you need supplies for your human crew. Water, food, medicine, building supplies, all those things need to be ferried up into orbit and then put into a transorbital burn in order to make it to, say, Mars or even to the moon. Now, if you have to include all those parts, and I'm not talking about just the things that you need, but the things that you might need, it adds up really, really quickly, especially when you consider that it takes about 10 pounds of fuel to get every pound of cargo into orbit, even more to push it into a transorbital burn. Now, that's just not really efficient, especially if most of that cargo you won't actually be using on the mission. The problem is there's no Home Depot a few million kilometers away from Earth, so you have to create everything or have everything that you might conceivably need to complete the mission. Well, wouldn't it be nice if we had a way to include all of the materials that we might need for this kind of a mission? Food, raw materials, medicines, clothing, pretty much everything that we could use on one of these out-of-Earth missions in your spacecraft and then just turn it into what you need as you go. I know it sounds like science fiction, but that's exactly what a group of engineers, bioengineers, have described in the Journal of Royal Science Interface. Now, they propose that instead of lifting individual parcels of food, supplies, medicines, and building materials, we could instead lift raw stock that can be turned into whatever is needed with microbes. Amor Menes is a postdoc at UC Berkeley's Institute for Qualitative Bioscience. He describes the use of various microbes to dramatically decrease the weight requirements and therefore the cost of space missions. It comes down to using natural or bioengineered microbes that could take the raw stock, mission waste, and materials in the Martian or moon atmosphere slash surface and process it into usable materials. For example, and I'm going to get a lot of these names wrong, so all you scientists out there, please write in. I love it when you write in on Twitter to tell me that I'm wrong. The bacteria, Methanobacterium thermoautotrophicum. That's totally wrong. Can use carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere combined with nitrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen that we bring along and produce high-quality methane and oxygen fuel. Now, if you could do that on the Martian surface, if you could use materials that are already there, if you could use elements that are already in the Martian atmosphere, that reduces the mass of a fuel manufacturing plant for the return trip from Mars by about 56%. The bacteria Arthospira plantanesis could react with dry organic material to produce the amount of food that you need to ship. Again, using the Martian atmosphere, it could reduce the food that you would need to pack in your mission for the return trip because it's using elements from the Martian atmosphere by about 38%. Not only that, but it would actually increase the palatability of the food because wet food stored over multiple months just doesn't turn out to be so well. Polyhydroxybutyrate and cuprae avidus necator would use Martian soil and atmosphere to create raw materials that can be used in a 3D printer. Now get this, this would lower the shipping mass for your Mars mission by a whopping 85%. Now the bacterium Synechocentis can create acetaminophen, which we have in Advil, Eliminating the, eliminating the need to carry anti-inflammatories that can actually be damaged by long-term exposure to radiation. Now, I know this all sounds like a pipe dream, but the NASA Ames Research Center has been working on exactly this process for the last couple of years. And what they found is that by using these microbes, by using these new processes to take existing materials and materials that you would be exposed to during the mission, not only do you decrease the amount of materials that you need to bring, bring into space, but you drastically increase the success chances of any mission. I mean, let's face it. If you have to land less on the Martian surface, if you have to bring less into orbit, if you have to worry less about accommodating every particular need, but rather have the, the confidence that you could manufacture the materials, the medicine, the food, once you get to your destination, well, it's, it's going to make for a better mission. Now, in the future, the space travel that we so anxiously desire, it may be powered by microbe poop. Go figure.